In this guide, we are going to learn about subgrade and subbase. We will start with understanding of the subgrade layer. Subgrade is the bottom most layers of a pavement. For a pavement to withstand any kind of stresses, subgrade is important. It should be made hard and firm, to have adequate bearing capacity. Stripping All vegetation material should be removed. The first step involved in preparation of the subgrade is stripping. It involves clearing the site of the works of turf, grass, weeds, brushwood and other foreign material. Ensure major stumps and roots are removed. Preferably, top 300 mm should be removed and replaced with good soil. The material used is usually natural soil. Ensure soil characteristics provide a dense and an evenly mass of soil. Ensure clay contents is not more than 10%. Subgrade compaction, rolling. Subgrade should be compacted in layers. Heavy compaction might be harmful as it might destroy internal structure of soil. Start from edge and move towards center. Depth of loose material should not exceed 250 mm. It should be shaped to required final profile. For higher thickness subgrades, install in layers. Static rollers should be made to have a minimum of 5 passes over each strip. Each strip should be overlapped by one third width. Rolling should continue till the surface behave like an elastic mass and is dense and even. Rolling output. A static roller compacts about 25 cubic meters of hard metal in a day. This is approximately equal to 1 kilometer of rolling for a 4 meter wide road. With use of vibratory roller, greater efficiency can be achieved. Rolling quality. Increasing number of passes may not increase density of soil. The soil should be compacted a minimum 95%. The density of the compaction can be measured using the dry density method test or by sand replacement test. Dry density method. Place the dolly over the core cutter and hammer the core cutter into the soil. Remove the soil surrounding the core cutter and take out the core cutter. Ensure soil inside the cutter is not disturbed. Clean the top and bottom surfaces and weigh the core cutter filled with the soil to the nearest gram namely M2. Mass of soil equals M2 which is weight of soil with cutter, M1 the weight of cutter. Density equals mass of soil upon volume. Sand replacement method. Metal tray with hole at center is placed on the prepared surface. Using this tray as pattern, the soil or material is excavated using a dibber or a trowel up to a required depth. Material is collected and weighed as capital W. The hole is poured by sand pouring cylinder with sand having weight is W1. The cylinder is weighed again with remaining sand and noted as W4 so as to get the weight of sand in hole as WB. Sand is then taken from sample and weighed, then placed in oven at 110 degrees Celsius and re-weighed. Same will be done with whole sample dug from the hole and then get the dry density of sample. We will be discussing sub-base layer. Construction of sub-base course. A GSP course is laid in between the subgrade and the base course over full width up to side drain. This will serve an effective drainage for water to the drain. It will also serve as a structural component, distributing the wheel load through the surface course and granular course. Material used for GSP layer are crushed stone aggregates, gravel, coarse sand, crushed slag, or artificial soft aggregates. The thickness should not be less than 100 mm, with maximum 200 mm, when compacted. Rolling is done starting from the lower edge, and proceeding towards the center. It should be continued till at least 98% of maximum density of the material is achieved. The most important consideration of GSP is gradation. It should match mode specifications. Sub-base quality checking. California bearing ratio, CBR, is a penetration test used to measure load bearing capacity of soil. The harder the surface, the higher the CBR rating. Typical values. Clay is 2%. Sand is 10%. Sub-base after compaction is 80 to 100%, maximum. The results obtained by these tests are used with the empirical curves, to determine the thickness of pavement. Stabilization of sub-base. Ensure moisture content to produce dense compacted layer. 
the final surface should be well closed, well compacted, and free from any movement. Three tests per 1000 square meter to be performed.